All right, hey guys, welcome back. This is Rock, and here we are back in the uh, Egyptian campaign. And we got another battle at, um, oh, I can't even remember the name of this uh, city here. <laughs> but here we are dropping on in. And I think it was the Blurmies, or the, what, however the heck to pronounce their name. They're, they're attacking me this time. The B group, okay, not Oxum. But the, uh, the other guys down there near Nubia and uh, Somalia, current Somalia. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and set up our barricades and our, all of our deployments. Barricade the crap out of this area, you know. Might as well set up my own little wall here. And I do like uh, this the setup of this city better than what the uh, Egyptian setup is. It's because the uh, amount of block offs I can have for this. Though, so, um... I decided to put a bunch of, pretty much the same exact setup as before. Uh, a few of my spears and whatnot, I put them in different areas. We'll see that happen. Um, and everything. So, I just like to block off that a little bit more in that area. Because I noticed that last time they were able to come right on through. So, we're going to put... Pretty much everybody in the exact same area for the most part. Ooh. All right. Yes, that was my neck if you heard that. You mean crack there. Ooh. I'm an old man. No, I'm 31. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> anyway. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Pretty much attack this in the exact same way. They're kind of spread out a little bit more than the um, last army was, though. That came on in. And, um, thus, they, I think they're sending their archers, their uh, horse archers, to one side. I don't know if those are horse archers. Yeah, those are horse archers. They're moving pretty fast. They're moving fast enough to move horse archers. So, the uh, skirmishers or whatever the heck they are. And then they, I guess they have some over here too. On this uh, angle. And I don't know how my archers are firing on into them. I'm just going to go ahead and have them concentrate fire in one area. Because they were not firing in the exact way that I would like them to. Unfortunately. They didn't have any elephants this time. They did have... Um, Calvary, uh, but they did they ran that Calvary. I, I, I don't know what caused the uh, The AI to think this way, but they decide to run their Calvary always straight through where they shouldn't run their Calvary, which is um, Basically, you know the pikes whenever there are pikes they're like gonna run, they're gonna run their Calvary right on through it and it's just, why, why, why would you do that? I mean, I can see it accidentally doing it for maybe a human, but the AI is just like, you know, there are pikes there. I should run my cavalry straight on through it. Okay then, all right. Oh, absolutely the worst idea, but anyways. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So, what cavalry they had was able to make it pass and somewhat attack my uh, second line of barricades. Um, as I continue to have everything else uh, take them on out. And at this point in time, their cavalry is completely ineffective. They, uh, there's almost no point to have them on the field anymore. Um, <laughs> but they did. And I guess these are javelin throwing guys. I, 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 yeah. African light cavalry, because I don't think they had. But I don't know. And they, see, they were completely wiped out by those guys within about five seconds. Um, and now we have just these uh, spearmen that are coming over to the side here. And they're trying to get around, I guess, the back edge. As I continue to flank everybody from the side here. 
Um, this is basically their last little stand before they stop me from getting into their into their homeland area um, and conquering what is left of Lower Egypt. Um, my goal for this campaign is to conquer Lower Egypt and maybe even get Egypt back to what it was during, uh, I would say, real ancient times for what Egypt would, Egypt would consider even be ancient times, you know, um, the times of the pyramids or whatever, yeah. So, we have to conquer, uh, the land of Canaan, or, uh, Israel. As it's known nowadays. Um, <laughs> and everything, okay? In the game, and we have to conquer Lower Egypt. I mean, wiped out that uh, group of guys there. Um, they were able to sneak past everybody over there. I think I probably could have had more uh, barricades, but oh well. We're going to bring these guys around. And bring these guys around on the back here back end and have them fire at the uh I probably could have brought two of them at once but I wanted to bring one at once just to go ahead and have one fire all their uh all their javelins and then have everybody else fire all their javelins later on and we're kind of moving kind of slowly here with this uh, as you can see, a lot of my um, guys are kind of uh, retreating in the middle there. I've lost the uh, capture point pretty easily, but not too big of a deal. Yeah, um, I can still win the battle because I'm that good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm getting too cocky, right? <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm actually not that good at this game, <laughs> surprisingly. Uh, I have only played multiplayer once, and I literally failed so horribly. It wasn't even funny. I just stopped playing multiplayer. I was just like, I'm not playing multiplayer anymore. <laughs> And plus, I prefer to play campaigns. It's, I don't know, conquering the world is more fun for me. All right, or, more, or the map is more fun for me than playing multiplayer. And plus, you you can't. I don't even know if you can use this mod for multiplayer. Uh, let me know if you can down in the comments, please. If you've ever played this with mod multiplayer, or if you've ever played any other mod multiplayer, or I mean, um, if you know anybody who has played this mod multiplayer, yeah, said that wrong. But anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and move the rest of these other uh, skirmishers on up, or uh, pikemen, and have them attack uh, that one flank side, and we're just really moving in there on all sides here. To basically try and um, do what we can. I'm gonna have the uh, cavalry here. My general attack the back of these guys, the, their flank. And I was kind of making, trying to make sure that the uh, stakes were all trampled on down or whatever, so that my uh, general wouldn't get hurt by the his own stakes, you know. Um, it may have been one or two of them that got killed there. I don't know if they did. Which is kind of what happens later on with these elephants. I try to bring them on in through here, and I'm like, uh, how, how can I get them on in through this one little tiny crevice, trying to micro them on in through that. But first, I wanted them to attack... Uh, stampede on through those guys so I can finish them off and we are finally started to get some of them to uh, waver over there on the um, the left which is good news 
And I don't... Yeah, they're generals. He's been, no, their general's not dead. He's leading the charge. Excuse me. <laughs> I thought they were dead. His dead. The general was dead for an instant. For a second there. Uh, and now we're throwing our javelins in the back of their oh, skirmishers over here. And they are pretty much all going to die. So I take them on out. I'm going to move these guys on up to go ahead and get this next group on in. And then now we're going to go ahead and move our elephants on through here. So this is what I was talking about. I try to move my move my elephants on through. And I'm like, all right, maybe, maybe I ask them to move on in, you know, in this fashion like that. And still, some of them do. I'm like, ah, oh, don't, no. And they do still get hit by the spikes that one group I'm like god oh, damn it now that one guy died so we lost one elephant um, from trying to do that unfortunately and I think there's like two or three guys on each elephant so um, we lost three guys or something like that uh, I don't know how many passengers there are on for, for an elephant I'd have to zoom on in I didn't look while I was in the game think about it because yes, I am recording the uh, the noise after the fact. Um, if you're just tuning in now, that's I guess news to you. If you it's not, then maybe you figured it out by now. All right, uh, gold star for everybody who figured it out. Okay, gold star. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes. <laughs> um. Anyway, so we we're popping a bunch of the uh. Uh, abilities for the my general and he was attacking the uh, their spearmen so I noticed that he wasn't going to do too well against their spearmen so I kind of tried to bring him on back but he probably didn't really need to because they were kind of wavering at that point the group that he was attacking and they're all just retreating and completely wavering now so then now I can go ahead and use that group to go ahead and attack the um, other side of those guys and unfortunately, that that, that uh, one group of spearmen is actually even uh, wavering right now too. So I got to move up all my spearmen over there. I think those are Galatian uh, skirmishers or uh, levies, actually, to tell you the truth, right there that I was just clicking on a while ago, a few minutes ago. And we're gonna go ahead and bring these guys on through over here, and just have my general uh, make sure he makes all of them completely retreat. And they're coming in just in time because I think everything that was just holding them off was uh, the archers over there. And that's right when I was just like, oh no, this is not going too, too good. I can win still. I'm going to win still. It's just a matter of they're going to kill too many of my men, you know. And that's sometimes quite the thing for uh, the when you take uh, go ahead and get do a battle against the AI. You know that they're, you're going to win, but it's just a matter of how many, uh, how much of my army am I going to lose? How much am I going to get devastated? You know, as you can see, everybody's just wavering there. So they could have actually, I think, won at this point. You know, I was actually quite curious if they could have, but it didn't go the way they want it to, I don't think. So now, I'm bringing my general on back because I need to go ahead and basically re-rally my troops. Um, and at this point, I'm just like, ah, oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and have the uh, elephants charge. So that's what really helped me out here. I, I, I just made the elephants charge and stampede on through and once they started attacking that's what really caused a lot of their guys to just um waver and really want to leave the battlefield you know <laughs> and here i'm checking that that's one of my groups that's uh leaving the battlefield right there because i wanted to go ahead and kill who's ever uh retreating and 
if they were the uh, enemy. And here we are just definitely using my elephants. And they are wavering too, but that just means that they're going to be in stampede mode. You know? So, we have to remove them from the battlefield. And I find that kind of interesting. I think when you're, the elephants charge through your own group, I don't think it causes any harm to them. To your uh, group. I'm not real sure on that one, but let me know in the comments. As, uh, and we saw that the elephants, as they come through... So, the stakes, they're very uh, interesting. Um, if they're pointing one side... The non-pointy side, cavalry can travel through. Fine. The other pointy side, cavalry will get hurt if they travel through. Which I guess makes sense. You know. Here we are bringing around the general. We're going to have him attack the back of these guys over here. And pop all of his uh, stuff off at the same time. The inspire and the rally. And that will really weaken them off. I'm, that's going to kill their general right there, hopefully. And that'll basically bring an end to the game of this battle. And as we can see there, my elephant has come back from uh, wavering. And a lot of my troops did come back that were wavering, you know. So, we're going to bring them all around. And that's right when everybody just... Retreated and I'm gonna go ahead and Continue the battle for a second and then just uh, Quit the battle. I decided to quit battle. I don't don't exit the desktop <laughs> And here we are back in the uh, campaign map Fighting off that little stand guy And I probably should have done what I could to go ahead and kill as many of them as I could Because now they've got their two armies over there. They're gonna sit around for the rest of this uh, Episode here this video I won't be able to take care of him till next video unfortunately so now we can take back that city right there and I really wanted to move these guys on in and uh, escalate that a little bit even though that they uh, are not completely up to um, full health on every single unit yet so we're gonna bring in both armies And actually purchase some more missionaries for these guys. Um, I'm looking at what mercenaries I should purchase. And I think I'd go with some Egyptian mercenary bands. Uh, these guys. I never purchased them before. I think they're very similar to the uh, Egyptian infantry. But I'm not 100% sure on that. And we're going to go ahead and continue to move up our hero. I think is what he is, uh, whatever the heck he is. I can't remember what he is. Um, well, <laughs> well, we continue to move him up to use him to spy on the lower kingdoms there that we'll conquer later on. And now we're going to go ahead and pick um, one of the technologies and level up my general here. All right. We're going to look at what we can add to his army, too. And I think we end up adding either nothing this turn or we do add something. Maybe we, yeah, we add, uh, I was trying to consider what else to add besides the um, one infantry guy. But I decided to go with slingers instead of uh, archers. Why? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> They're cheaper, maybe. <laughs> that was the uh, reasoning I gave myself in the end. So, we're going to end this turn, go on to the next turn. And then we'll be able to take that city back finally. As we check on what's going on over there in uh, S S the Seleucid area, we're going to move our uh, spy around a little bit. So he can spy on two places at once. We're going to have to take that area in the end. So, 
take that area back, I should say. So here we are sieging um, Myos Hormos, I guess is how you would say that. I don't know. It's my best try. All right. So we're going to go ahead and auto resolve this. And then occupy my city. And as you can see, those guys are all the way over to the left, right by the Nile. Um, it's going to be a bit of a pain to go ahead and go after them, but I'm going to have to do so, you know. Uh, thankfully, um, I have all my guys over here, so we have all the cities back. And... We'll have to wait till the next uh, episode to go ahead and see how I finally uh, catch them off their guard, I guess. I don't know. As they continue to run around my uh, empire. <laughs> right? And I can't leave them behind because they'll eventually end up uh, ravaging the town, which is never a good thing. We're gonna lower tax levels, as I finally can do that. Oh, and raise them back up again. <laughs> and we're gonna continue to move this guy on through. Antiochus, I guess that's how you would say his name. All right, here, and this turn is going on through. So they asked for peace. I decided not to give it to them. I was going to see if they wanted to become a satrap, but uh, we'll find out next time what happens, and hit like and subscribe, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.